Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 306 Sessions here at Seven Music Studios presented by the Barbed Wire Open Mic Series. Let's give it up for everyone in here tonight in attendance. We're going to have a great show. You like We're going to have a great show for you guys tonight. My name is Richie Marmupo. Let's get it started, yeah? Let's get it all artists tonight. First off, we're going to start by interviewing Adriana, who's representing the all-female art show, Artistas Femeninas, in partnership with the 501 Bistro, who'll be celebrating their eighth running year on November 14th of this year. Uh, this year's theme is Teaching Love. While the show is free, there are suggested donations. If you guys can bring clothing or toiletry, um, any donations will be appreciated. So, Adriana... How are you today? I'm doing good. How about you? Great, great. So when and where was the first all-female art show? The show, um, the inspiration to create the event happened in 2007. Um, the reason why we got together was to express love and to share love and to enjoy love and to welcome la love and to enjoy it. Sounds great to me, right? So this year's <laughs> theme, as you heard, is teaching love. So that'd be great. That's going to be happening on the 14th? Yeah, it's, it's okay. good for the community as well and for Excellent. everybody to come and enjoy it. And who will be performing at this year's All-Female Art Show? We have um, a lot of artists, a lot of female artists that are coming to teach love. And one of them is, her name is Malena Cano, who she's been a singer, a mariachi singer for over 20 years in El Paso. Yes, we also are given an award of participation to Mindy Chanson, because she's been with us since 2007. Oh, she's great, she's great. Yes. We also have Maria y sus guitarras de la fe. We have poetry, we have food, we have art, and anything that could enjoy you. <laughs> Perfect, that sounds like a fun show. Now, are you yourself an artist? I'm myself an artist. I went to study filmmaking in LA, and, um, Juju and I did the second all-female art show. She filmed it. She helped me film the show as well. But um, my passion grew more to get together female artists and create this event that will be also helping out La Posada Women's Home Shelter, who they need our help, who they need our love as well, because they have also kids and women that, you know, had suffered and they need our help as well. Okay. Very good, very good. Now, uh, I've already mentioned it, but if, uh, for anyone who wants to know, is there a cost to get in? The cost is absolutely free. Uh, it's free. We, I mean, it's up to you if you want to donate a dollar to come in. We're going to share it to the Posada. Uh, but just come and enjoy it. It's free. We're going to block sure. a street. It's a street festival Love of fully art, only art. So come and enjoy it, like I said. Right, and also uh, suggested donations, right? What can people do? Uh, what, what can people bring in to help? Well, you know, since we're um, the donations are going to La Posada Homes Women's Shelter, um, jackets, shoes for the kids. It's really it's a private home, and um, they they need the help that we can get. And this is how we, the all female art show, the female artists who will be participating this year, and they are welcome to participate next year as well, can share and teach their love through sharing these items with that's them. That's great, and, and teaching love, you know, that's your overall theme. So you would say that fits in your overall goal in the organization? Yes, right? we are made out of love, and we, we could teach it. We could share it and teach it. We could teach it by our, by our music, we could teach it by our art. We all deserve love, and we all deserve hugs. Uh, there you go. Let's give a round of applause to Adriana. Thank you Thank very you. much for that interview. And, and a hug. hug. That's right. You gotta get gotta give hug. me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, <coughs> that's definitely an event to to support and, and definitely let your friends know about that. All right, Gamble, the man with the master plan. Yeah. So I have a I have a, a self quote for me who here. I make music that's cool, and and I I agree with you on that. Yeah. So a little bit about Gamble. He started making music in 1999. His main genres are hip-hop and house. 
Of course, his hometown is here in El Paso, Texas. And uh, he has his own record label, we call that Gamble Music, that you can find online. Just look online for Gamble Music on Bandcamp, as well as the Facebook page. Yeah, that's yeah. G-A-M-B-O-L. G-A-M-B-O-L, and what does that mean? It means to dance around, it's an old word, just means to dance around, have a good time, maybe. That's great. Maybe you get up, you know, get a little tipsy. And, and as far as long as I've known you, you know, you've been, all a bit, you've been all about that in your music, right? Absolutely. Celebrating. Yeah, definitely. So why did you choose the genre, hip-hop? I grew up with hip-hop. Uh, you know, being born in 85, you know, I'm a 90s baby. It was just always being played in my house. I was a, there was a music of rebellion, and, you know, I came up with it. Uh, you know, uh, I, I was definitely influenced by house music and the whole rave scene That's right. in, in the late 90s. And then I, you know, kind of, you know, gravitated towards house music. Uh, but, um, you know, I kind of left my original love, which was hip hop, to go explore house music for about 10 years. And then, you know, now I'm back on hip hop. And maybe I'll back go back. Maybe I'll go back. That's right. Well, you're not done with your journey. Yeah. Not by a long shot. Now, uh, what was the catalyst, or, or what was the kind of the starting point for you to make beats, make your own beats? The catalyst was definitely the Labworks parties that were happening in the late 90s. Uh, DJ Rich just changed my life. Uh, you know, the deep house music that was going on. It was all the new genres of, of music that were just exploding on the scene. It was great to be on the scene and, and being one of the first people to hear that music and just, you know, be there on the dance floor. And I was always a big fan of you know the underground scene I was supporting everything and that just really just influenced me and changed my life you know forever great great and uh you know I, i've been lucky enough to work with you over the years with the, the barbed wire open mic series and i'm sure many of us have heard him play live uh why I, I, my question now if you can answer the best you can why are your beats so sick <laughs> I like making beats that uh, MCs want to rhyme on. Okay. Because it, I, I, I've been making beats, you know, since 99, you know, it gives me you know, a, lot, a lot of time. And I did my 10,000 hours. It, it, it gets lonely right. making music by yourself. And the spirit of music is community and everybody getting together and having yes. a good time. And, and so that's why, you know, I, I just had to, you know, branch out and collaborate with people and, you know, you know just gain on their spirit and use that uh, in, in my own music to create new things. And that's something I've loved, you know, seeing you work with all sorts of different artists yeah. and uh, musicians. Uh, so what are your plans for the near future? I definitely want to start working with uh, a live bands. Uh, I love Jupiter's Junkies. They're my favorite. Uh, I love The Planets, you know, my, my buddy Miguel de Santiago's band. Uh, it, it's a, you know, a revolving lineup and we just record in a little garage studio. But with the equipment, we can make, you know, we make it sound, you know, pristine. And that's what I'm about. I want to give. I want to give bands that don't have that recording opportunity, that are you know maybe gigging everywhere, yeah. uh, but you know I want to give them that recording opportunity and maybe give them that first EP you know that they can sell at their shows, you know stuff like that. That's great. So anyone out there wants to work with a, a great producer here, talk to our friend Gamble. You can find them online and, and get a hold of him through there. Absolutely. And uh, now, last on the last note, you know. Uh, you're, you're always there. Gamble is our, our resident DJ for the Barbed Wire Open Mic Series the last Saturday of every month. He's been doing it for years now. Mm -hmm. I, always call, I always call him the, the hardest, ma hardest working man in Barbed Wire. Yeah. Uh, but something I have always appreciated, how you bring your family out and yeah. your kids. So are, are, are they kind of picking up on, on the music thing? Absolutely. If, yeah. if, if they choose that path to be a musician, you know, it's definitely a commitment. It takes, you know, an entire life. It's a life's journey. And that's 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 what produces good music is is life's devotion and hard work and determination. Uh, if they choose that path, you know I'll support it just like my my parents supported me with that decision. Appreciate it. Let's give a round of applause to right. Gamble. Happy to have him. He'll be performing here tonight as well, as long alongside the man right next to him, who one of the many artists that he's been able to work with. So next up on the lineup we have Wise Weapon, who is a hip hop artist and beat maker from Northeast El Paso. Half of the Wise Weapon times Gamble music duo. He is currently working with Silent Swordsman as part of the Wise Swordsman duo and has new projects with rapper Ghost under the name New One coming out this year. Now, uh, I've been hosting Bar Bar Open Mic for a while and I was very excited when he first started coming out. Like, and, and, and even every t ever since then, but we heard you and we're like, oh, we've got to get him come out to the shows and, and collaborate. 
So we're happy to have you here today. Let's give a round of applause to Wise Weapon for coming out tonight. Uh, so where did, you know, one thing that stood out for me right away was your name. So where does the name Wise Weapon come from? Um, actually, uh, I used to go by uh, Weapon X. That was my first name. And um, later on, a few years later, um, I decided that uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of rappers are going to come out with uh, a Weapon X name. So I just decided to change it to Wise. And... Then I uh, put them together and it became Wise Weapon. What a wise move. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, how long have you been emceeing? Um, I've been emceeing since 97, so it's been about, I want to say 18 years. I don't know if my math is good on that one. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, 18 years, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I already mentioned a little bit, but how did you and Gamble meet? Actually, oh man, I like I like to let Gamble tell the story because he, I like the he's a better storyteller than I am. So yeah, like uh, if and you want to, yeah. it was it was popping. I went to go pick up a, a mutual friend, Universal, and uh, he didn't want to tell me where they live. He's like, "Yo, come come down to the screen section." Then finally, I call him like, "Yo, I'm here. Just just come down the block." I'm like, man, this is kind of sketchy, you know what I mean? And I, I I go and there's a bunch of dudes out there late at night, and I I had you know I had. You know, I was, in my, I was in my suit, you know, looking fly. And I was like, man, what if I get jacked? You know, shoot. I'm like, dude, hey, I'm like, Universal, yo, let's roll. He's like, hey, my buddies, they like your beats, man. They want to hear your beats. Man, come. I'm like, all right. He's like, yeah, come pull in. Oh, shoot. So I have to pull in here into this, you know, house I I've never been at, full of a yard full of dudes. I come out, put on a, a Busta Rhymes remix. I had everybody just partying, man. And Wise was one of them there. And he's just like, yo, I do. Be I make I make rhymes, man. I rhyme, dude. I'm, I'm sick, man. I'm sick. I want to do this. So I told him to go to BWAMS, man. And, th and that's where we make the connections. And that's where the connection happened. Perfect. Uh, let's give a round of applause to all of our panel today.